Hold on, guys. I'm almost ready to reveal. I'm over here putting on my accessories right now. As you can see, when I dance, I'm only actually able to stay in one spot. Because <laughs> once these uh, legs attempt to try to move in a dancing motion, you can guarantee I'm falling. Like, guarantee. Like, not even like, oh, la, 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 you. No, no. I'm a fall. Badly, too. Give me a second to just get up on this here bed. Okay. Whew. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sitting Pretty. It's your girl, Lolo. So today, one of my brothers i call him my play brother my play brother tay is having a block party daytime block party with his best friend dj b hen and let me tell y'all they throw the dopest parties the funnest parties it is up there with grits and biscuits so come get ready with me as i get ready for the turn up i figured because this is a get ready with me episode that I might just do a two for one special I might just do two episodes in one so I've decided that as I'm getting ready I am going to drop fun facts about me so you guys will also be learning more about Lolo the person and not always about Lolo and her disability you see what I'm saying I have to be really bold in order to be on the internet just live and just you know just choosing to look like this so let's get started I'm about to drop the first fun fact about Lolo I have never owned a PJ set ever these are actually my PJs <laughs> which consists of a random t-shirt and just some random bottoms. I have never owned PJs because when me and my cousins were growing up, we always used to have sleepovers at grandma and grandpa's house. And so when we would go to grandma and grandpa's house and it was time to go to bed and we had our pallets all made and we made forts in the living room and like sleeping bags all over the place, um, grandma came down with a stack of t-shirts, which probably comprised of some of her old t-shirts, some of grandpa's old t-shirts. That's where it all started, is, is just wearing t-shirts and random bottoms underneath. And you know, as I got older, I guess my mom never thought that it was important to wear PJ sets. I guess it was between, hum, a PJ set or food on the table. I think I'm gonna choose food on the table for my children. So now that we got the first fact out the way, it is time to take the first step in getting ready, okay? So I've already brushed my teeth and I've washed my face. Um, so now it is time to deep condition my hair. I have to give these curls revitalization. So I'm about to hop in the shower, get this deep condition on my hair, and I will be back for fun fact number two. As you can see, I got my little shower cap here to deep condition my hair. And uh, I got my timer set on my phone uh, for when it's time to rinse this stuff back out. Hence why I am still not dressed yet. Uh, and fellas, if you were ever wondering why it takes women so long to get dressed, because nine times out of ten we're doing random stuff like deep conditioning our hair. So, on that note, it is fun fact number two time. I literally have no idea how to do my hair. The only reason I even know how to somewhat deep condition my hair is because a girl at a kiosk told me what to do because I just asked her, I was like, girlfriend, how do I get my curls to look like that? I never really learned exactly how to because my mom is literally half black and half Filipino and her hair texture is a lot different from me and my sisters because we have more black in us because our father is black but our dad is also was born in France so technically that makes him French so I don't know there's just a lot going on in my blood and it just shows in my hair texture so growing up with our mom she never knew how to do our hair because it was so different from hers and then as I was getting older I just kept cutting my hair because I didn't know how to do it and on top of not knowing how to do my hair I 
physically don't have the strength to maintain my hair like doing this is really exhaustive because my right arm you know it's pretty limp all I have is just my left arm but even my left arm is still very weak compared to what it should be so what I'm gonna do is wait until my little timer goes off rinse it out and then we can start getting into what my outfit finna be all right so here is what I have for my outfit so far I do have a sweater that I'm going to put on over it, but because it's predominantly white and I still have to do my makeup, I'm not taking no chances, okay? But can you get into, can you get into these curls being revitalized? Fun fact number three, I always wear black. Like, always. I don't think you guys understand how many times I switch clothes just to get this outfit because I am always wearing black but it's Memorial Day weekend I don't really want to wear black this was the closest thing that I could come up with that was not black as you guys have seen with all of my previous sitting pretty episodes like and I'm wearing different colors that's because I like legitimately like try to either I bought the shirt the day before because I was like you know what I can't wear black my chair is black so I have to wear a different color so I've literally exhausted all options so if I start wearing black in all of my sitting pretty episodes I just want you guys to understand why so I think what I'm about to do is go eat a little something something and come back fully dressed how about that so I got my sweater got my accessories on now let's just see how this beat came out. Hi everyone! So, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, sorry Justin, just a few minutes please, thank you. So, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous about this look. Um, I felt like maybe it was too much eyeshadow, not enough pop of color on my face but for now i think i like it um i think it's super cute i'm gonna do some spin arounds for you in my chair matter of fact let's cut to that right now you know a girl with some chucks is never a bad thing that is it everyone the outfit is complete i am done getting ready now i'm just waiting for my best friend destiny to get here so that way we can go to la and turn up for memorial day weekend and just have a good time leave a comment let me know what you're doing this memorial day what are your plans how are you celebrating is there any friends or family that you are paying homage to for this memorial day who had served in the military as always, you know the routine. Leave a comment, like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe. All right, y'all, it's sitting pretty, baby. Peace.